previous year, but we do, we do always want to let you know that changes that have happened. And basically too, we just wanna say, are you leveraging your benefits that are all built within your plan? Thanks for giving us some of your time today. We also are looking for some feedback from you because that's a really great opportunity for us to learn how the plans are working and if there are new benefits, are you liking them? Uh, and are there any snags that have happened? So we're looking for that kind of information as well. Uh, Nancy and I also uh, have other products that we work with as well. So other ancillary products such as final expense, long-term care, hospital indemnity, um, life insurance, individual plans for those who are under 65. So just to let you know, it's not just Medicare. And I did send you out an email with uh, the outline to follow through the slides. And then there is an evaluation form at the end. So if you have any feedback or there's anything that you're interested in learning more about, let me know and email that back to me. That'd be great information for us. So as you all know, Nancy, Nancy and myself, we're the two independent agents in the office. And uh, all of you are working with Nancy, but I work alongside of her now as well. Um, we have an admin team. Our admin team currently, um, our newest member is Amy. And then we have Lauren and Sherry who help us with part-time um, administrative duties. It takes a big team to be able to help support Nancy's business. And now my business is I'm coming aboard. And some good news is, is we have Amy, who she this year will be taking her licensing and we'll have another member to the team. So we're really excited about that. Okay, so first we'll kind of start out with a little, a few refreshers. Um, for 2023, you know, if you do nothing with your plan as we move into the next year, your plans will uh, annually renew. Uh, the biggest time of the year for us is open enrollment or the annual election period, AEP, which goes from October 15th to December 7th. And then if you make any changes during that time, that becomes effective, of course, January 1. So some of you may have made changes over this last year and seen that, but we do always suggest, you know, it's worth coming and revisiting your plan because there could be something that's even a better fit. This is our busiest time of the year though. So we do ask that you call and don't wait until the end of the season because our appointments fill up so fast. So hopefully this next year, it'll be even smoother since we'll have another person who'll be able to sit with clients. So we're looking forward to that. This seminar or webinar will be about non-medical benefits. And then we'll of course talk about all those reminders. So a quick refresher off of the top. You all have the Medicare Advantage plans with priority. So the Medicare Part C comes in and replaces uh, the Medicare Part A. And then they also give you all of these extra benefits. So really it's like a one-stop shopping where you get your medical, you get your preventative dental vision and hearing. Um, you also get the, the Part D is built into the plan. All of these plans are managed care networks. And again, one thing that is repetitive that we'll always say is you wanna make sure that you remain within the network. So what are those networks? They're gonna be the HMO POS plans and the PPO. And I'll talk further about those in a little bit. With the Medicare Advantage plans, you do have lower monthly premiums than if you had say a Medigap plan, but you do have co-pays and deductibles, you know, co-insurances that you pay along the way as you use your plan. So all of the plans have a $0 medical deductible as long as you remain within network. So most popular words of today in all the seminars is gonna be remaining within network. For this year, Priority Health has 10 plans. So they've added one new plan because last year they had nine and they based your monthly premium is gonna be based on the county in which you reside in, your zip code. So 
two people could have the same exact plan but live in different zip codes and pay a different monthly premium. Now, new for Priority Health that this is really exciting is they are rated, they get a star rating for the year, and we have a 4.5 and a five point star, and that the, the max is a five, of course, but Priority Health actually got the five. So they're the only five star plan within the area. That five star plan is on all of their HMO POS plans. So if that's what you have, your plan is a five-star plan. Now, the other thing, the beauty about the five-star plan and being the only one in the area who has it is that you can actually make a move to a five-star plan at any time of the year. You don't have to wait for the other election periods that you normally do to make a change to your plan. So if you do wanna make a change or you know someone else who wants to make a change, send them our way. And then those network choices again too, of course, so the PPO and the HMO POS. The PPO is the preferred provider organization. Um, basically the two of them, they are really starting to look very similar, but the PPO, basically you're gonna pay less if you remain within your network, that, the network that belongs to the plan. And then it offers greater flexibility for you to see providers who are out of the network. If you use out of the network, then of course, the chances are you will pay a little bit more out of pocket. And then the HMO POS, uh, you can use providers within the network and pay less. So very similar with the other one, but then that POS portion allows you to use out of network providers, both within Michigan and across the US. And then of course, if you use the out of network, you're gonna pay more. So it's a reminder that all of the Medicare Advantage plans, they all have a maximum out of pocket. It varies by the plan. Most folks don't meet the maximum out of pocket unless it's a worst case scenario situation. But once you have met that, if that's what happens, then the plan comes in and they pay 100% of the costs of your medical services. Your co-insurance and co-payments, things like that, they count towards that maximum out of pocket. So you can kind of think of it as a bucket and it's just chipping away at that bucket. And then your monthly premiums, if you have one on your plan and your prescription drug costs do not apply to that maximum out of pocket for the year. All of the plans have the Part D prescription drug coverage built in. And with those, they, you know, they have their formularies with the different tiers. And for the most part, on all of the plans, they are very similar. You, of course, want to make sure that you are using a preferred network or a preferred pharmacy. And then there's also the mail order. So I'm curious to know, too, if you guys use the mail order, because if you have a tier one or tier two drug, you can pay zero dollars to have those prescription mail ordered. All of the plans have the worldwide coverage for emergency and urgent care. So whether you're here in West Michigan or you're in California or somewhere overseas, you, you're gonna pay that same copay for emergency or urgent care services as you would here in West Michigan. And then a few of the other items, of course, that are on that plan, you have the preventative dental vision and hearing, over-the-counter purchases, and then the health club is the silver sneakers and all of those items I'm going to touch more on here in the next few slides. So here is something that's new as of this year, that new plan that I spoke to, right? We had nine plans last year. This year, we've got 10. So Priority Health has five $0 plans and then five with monthly premiums. The new plan is the Priority Health Medicare One. Uh, it is also the $0 monthly premium plan and that's a five-star rated plan. It's the HMO POS. Uh, the new plan actually is only offered in five counties. It's Kent, Macomb, Oakland, Ottawa, and Wayne County. So maybe next year they'll add on a few more, but right now it is a little limited. And one thing that's different on that the one plan is that they do offer transportation. So you get up to um, 30 
free one-way trips that you can use on the plan. So that might be really solely a, a reason why someone would choose to go on that plan. And then of course we have our pharmacy choices. Like I mentioned before, always use the preferred retail. There are also the standard retail uh, and then the mail order. And mail order is through Express Scripts. So the tier one and two, you can do um, that through Express Scripts and you get a 90 day supply and you will pay nothing. Where if you go into a pharmacy, you, you will have some kind of small payment when you go to pick up those drugs. So some of those embedded preventative items that you love and know, most of you have been on your plans for a little bit. So you, you do know that from last year to this year, it didn't change a ton, but again, it's all about those networks. So the dental, you get your two cleanings and exams for the year, uh, bite wing, bite wing x-rays, and then um, they do also include comprehensive perio dental maintenance and panoramic x-rays, which that one is every two years at no additional cost. For your vision, again, they have the same network as before with IMED. So you get your one exam for the year. And then all of the plans have uh, eyewear allowance. Last year was the same what was built into the plans, but this year they've changed it a little. So it really depends on, on which plan you have as to what the eyewear allowance is. And with the vision too, we have a handful of clients who we've talked to who went outside of network and they actually submitted their bills and they were reimbursed some amount. So that is always an option too, if your person doesn't accept that IMED. And then for the hearing, of course, you get your one exam for the year. They have affordable hearing aid pricing, and that is all through true hearing. If you did need to get hearing aids, uh, they do include a 60 day trial period. And then you get a year of follow up visits with 80 batteries that are included. While you have the items that are built right into the plan, those preventative items, there's of course always a chance to do a buy-up. So what is that buy-up? And some of you maybe already have it and you'll see that there were some price changes this year, um, but starting about first, when can you add on that enhanced dental vision? So a good time you can add it on is during that open enrollment season or AEP, October 15th to December 7th, and then it would become effective the first of the next year. And then if you go through this year's AEP season and you decide in January or February, shoot, I did want to add it, you do get a little grace period. So you have January and February where you could also add that to your plan. And then the other option is when you're originally first coming aboard, you have 60 days from your initial enrollment to add it. And if you do add it, you actually can drop it throughout the year too. So if you ever did need to do that, we've got some forms we can send along. If you decided, nope, I, I don't wanna pay for this, I'm not using it. So just to let you know. So what are those enhanced dental and vision options? So for this year, you're either gonna pay $29 or $38 per month for that enhanced dental and vision. They come together, you can't have them separated, of course, and they use that Delta Dental Network so of course, covering the basic dental services that we talked about before that are built right into the plan. Then they also cover fillings and crown repairs, the simple extractions, relines and repairs to bridges and dentures, they come in at 50% coverage. And then same for the major dental services, it's 50% coverage. So they do give you an amount that you can't go over. And for this year, it's the same as what it was last year at that 2,500 maximum for the calendar year. So once you use that amount of money, you've exhausted those funds. And then, so for the vision, the vision benefit, again, you're gonna use IMED with them. You get your eye exam and your retinal imaging for the year at no additional cost, as long as you use that IMED provider. 
And then whatever comes with the plan for your, um, your benefit that you can use towards contacts or uh, glasses, you can actually use, you'll get this 150 extra if you did do that enhanced dental and vision to use for those items. So Priority Health is always wanting to make sure that their members are staying healthy and active. So they have a handful of different programs where they, you know, they're encouraging a healthy lifestyle. So Silver Sneakers being the gym membership that's involved in all of the plans. So if you haven't already signed up, you can go online and sign up at silversneakers.com and create an account. If you haven't done that, there's also an app that you can download but you do need to create the account to be able to see what's in your area, what's involved. Every year they continue to add on new uh, gyms that participate and all the MVPs in the area now are on that list. And I'm sure there's a bunch more that have been added, but even uh, last year they had over 15,000 gyms that were involved with the silver sneakers. Uh, they also cater to all level, levels of fitness and all different styles of fitness. So there's something for everyone out there. And then another uh, level of the Silver Sneakers is the Tuition Rewards Program. So if you are participating at your whatever gym that you're going to, each time that you go and you're checking in, you're earning points and points end up equal equaling money. So you get to pick the beneficiary. So it could be a family member, like an immediate family member or an extended family member. And if their school, if their college or university is on the list, then when you go to the gym and you get your points, you can be giving that money to them towards their college tuition. If that's something that you're interested in too, again, you need to go in to create that account and you'll be able to navigate it all in the account. They also have the Brain HQ still for this year. So that's another account. You go online and you can play different, but like brain teaser games for memory. Um, you can do it on a computer, tablet, or phone. And then they have the My Strength. Basically, that we say it's a health club for your mind. It gives you um, service to licensed therapists seven days a week. And then acupuncture, that one is still on there from last year. So they will do, if you have approved um, lower back, or I'm sorry, chronic lower back pain, that was approved for acupuncture. And then in addition to that, you get six more procedures throughout the year. And then they also have chiropractic services that are listed too. So well, here's kind of one of the big ones that, and maybe two at the end, we can talk about this one as well, but this is something that did change. So the over-the-counter benefit, I know a lot of people really like that. Um, the over-the-counter the over -the -counter benefit, that's the normal one that is per quarter where your money goes on the card and you, you use it within that quarter. If you don't use it, it falls off the card. Um, that is on most of the plans. However, this year they've added a new level, if you will, to it, and it's called the over-the-counter plus allowance. That again, it's gonna vary by plan. They actually only have it on two of their plans right now, the vital and the one. And that one is just monthly versus quarterly. So I think one of the first ones on there, it's $15 that somebody could get per month. And then if you don't use it, you lose it. Um, again, only on two plans. <laughs> and then, um, only on those two plans and then otherwise it's going to be that quarterly over-the-counter benefit. Now the two uh, Medicare plans that don't have either of these is going to be the merit and the select plan. We can talk more too about this at the end because I am curious about feedback they recently this year, they went through a new vendor and it maybe didn't roll out as anticipated. So they're, they're figuring out the kinks. And for us, it's really good to hear some feedback from you guys, because if you had it last year and maybe what's to compare to this year, it's good for us because we can let the sales reps know 
and hopefully that can help improve the situation. I do know that come April, they're coming out with uh, a catalog again that has the pictures of all the items that are available. So I think that will be helpful. Um, but some of it, it's definitely a little different this year. And I am hearing that if you go into the store, you will be saving much more if you purchase through the store than going online or um, over the phone. I had some members actually earlier today who said that CVS, they actually have a lot more savings at CVS because you get additional little, um, you cannot use it in the store. Nope, you can use it in the store. Um, but back to those members earlier who I spoke to, they said that CVS, they actually get so much more because they give you little coupons and stuff along the way. So if you get $80 per quarter, then you're getting a little more because of your coupons. So, or they have like buy one, get one, things like that. But we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. We've got mom's meals still on the plans. Uh, mom's meals is a service that can be provided to you after an inpatient hospital stay hospital say psychiatric stay skilled nursing facility but it's when you're coming home and you know you need a little bit of extra help or anything to make it a little bit easier if you decide to use this service you can get up to 28 meals so you would get 14 one week and 14 the next and then they last uh, oh I think they said that the last two weeks in the fridge, but they're all prepackaged. They might weigh 25 pounds. They do warn you that. So if you don't have somebody to help, maybe the people delivering could, could even help if you can't lift something that heavy at the time. But they allow uh, all different types of nutrition. And then also if they you have uh, specific allergies or a, a special diet, they cater to that as well. And then there's the $0 copay for virtual care, including behavioral health. Um, so you can see your PCP, a counselor, a specialist, a dermatologist. And then that free to talk to the doctor, that's just kind of like you can speak to your doctor with other concerns outside of your annual exam. Some of the plans have the Papa Care on them, and they've they've changed that a little bit this year. Before, I think it was hours per month, and now they've kind of lumped it into the year, so then you can kind of navigate it throughout the year. Uh, the Papa Care is an in-home service where it's usually college students who would come in, and they can help you with small tasks around the house, maybe help you cook a meal, cleaning. Um, a variety of different things. And that's another one that's it's good for us to hear feedback from. I shared a story earlier from a client that she lives on her own. She doesn't have family around or really any friends. And she actually used her Papa Care to see if they would come and help her clean out her shed. And they said, yes. So they came in and did that. And she was thrilled about that. Another new item that went through legislation this year, uh, the Part D has updated with the insulins, which is a big deal for those folks who are diabetic. So they're saying that the insulins now are $35 for a 30-day supply. Now, it has to be a 30-day supply. They won't order in at 90. Um, and I see a question just pop up about Papa Care. Um, so there's no cost because it's built into the plan. Um, we're going to uh, grab a book and see. I know one of the plans has 72 hours and it's for the year, but we can look and see. Um, but back to that part D. So the $35 for the 30 day supply on that covered insulin, and then also $0 for covered vaccines. So now the shingles, um, the pneumonia vaccine, all of those then are now covered. We are looking into the to the Tdap or the tetanus one, but as of right now, we're not sure that that one that one may be covered is if it's needed. 
and, and I did ask priority route on a call okay. a while ago, and it is as you and I talked about. Okay. As needed. So as needed. So if it was just like, oh, my mine's gonna expire because my 10 years is up, then uh they're not gonna do it. But if you step on a rusty nail, well, then you then you can get it. So for example, that back to the Papa Care question that you had asked, on the edge plan. They have, you can get up to 72 hours of Papa Care for the year. So you can navigate that yourself. You know, if one month you need a lot of help and then you, you don't need so much, but it doesn't cost you additional because it's built into the plan. Um, the Compass plan has 36 hours, but again, it's not on all the plans. But if you have specific questions to your plan too, um, we can start, you can give us a call and I can definitely talk to you about that. So are you safe to travel outside of Michigan or abroad? Yes. So the worldwide coverage that we spoke to earlier, of course, you, uh, you get that in-network pricing for emergency and urgent care, whether you're here somewhere else in the US or overseas. And then another piece that's built in, which was built into the plan last year as well, is that Assist America. So it's a global emergency program that you can use. You can even use prior to you, your trip. They can help you with pre-trip items. If you lose your luggage, if you have a bad emergency while you're on vacation and you're in another country, they can help you find a doctor, or fill a prescription, all kinds of things. You do, however, have to be at least 100 miles away from home to use those services. So I'll go through just these, these last two pages are just a little bit of a summary. And then we'll certainly be talking about what your questions are, because I did see that there's a, a few that went through, okay? so. Again, we just want you to take care, or I'm sorry, take advantage of all of your benefits because there's so many of them that are built into your plan that cost you nothing. Don't forget to set up your member accounts because with your, just slowly start with your priority health one, you can view your premiums, balances, see different statements that come through after you have services done. And then of course there's like the silver sneakers and things like that to set up your accounts. That way you're getting the most out of your plan. Open enrollment season, as most of you know, is our busiest time of the year. So if you do want to revisit your plan, please give us a call and we'll get something on the books. We actually already have appointments going for this next fall already. So if you do want to revisit, please give us a call and we'll get you set up. And then lastly, you will be sent uh, your annual notice of change. So make sure that you review that. So you should have that by October 1. And October 1 is actually the first time that we can start talking about the new plans with members. Um, so you should be able to see if there's something significant within your plan or if you're like, oh, everything's looking good, you can just let it roll over if you want to. But if you'd like to do any kind of review, of course, these are some of our options. We can talk on the phone, Zoom. We are having some group meetings, so we'll do an, another um, an AEP group meeting where we'll come in and talk about these are the new changes. And if you want to make a change, we can just do it there and you don't have to come in. But if you'd like to, we also do the one on one meetings. But just a reminder, it is our busy time of the season. So please make the appointments early. Don't wait until the last minute. And then you can always contact us throughout the year. Um, we assure you that you've made a good choice with Priority Health. They're a great company. And that wraps up my summary, but I do know there's a lot of questions. So let's talk about those. And I'm going to unmute here. Let me see. Okay. So if I. Oops. Did it do yours? Which hopefully you don't get an echo. All right. 
So Adele, yes, we are recording this and we will post it on our YouTube channel. And I see Adele had a few other questions, but it looks like we actually answered those. You, you can use that in store. If, if you, you tried, tried before and it didn't work, it could have been just the hiccups in the beginning of the year with this new, um, the new vendor that they're using. And again, the Papa Care doesn't cost anything if you have it on your plan. Okay, and Sandy, you said you got the feed app for no cost at Meyer. Oh, hey, that's good. I didn't know that. In the address for the YouTube channel, it's Cornerstone Retirement Partners. You should be able to Google it right on, on YouTube and it'll pop up. And there's all kinds of videos on there. Ron does them, Nolan, Nancy, myself. So you'll recognize the faces. <laughs> So Walmart is still on their list, but the vendor last year was really affiliated with Walmart. So Walmart had to make a lot of the decisions for them. So that's actually why one thing why they changed the vendor. Um, you still should be able to use it at Walmart though. It's just a little different where you can't go online at Walmart to order directly like you could last year from them just because their vendor changed, that's why. Okay, thank you, Steve. And if, does anyone else have any questions? Okay, good. Okay. So Sandy is then using it at Walmart, Walgreens and CVS, yeah, that's, that's good. good. And, and you should be able, able to use it at the store, store just, just like, like it's, it's just like, like, a, like a credit card. card. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, just when you cash out, you should be able to use that. They do have an app, and this is another great thing that we learned today. The app is actually very easy to use. So you select a store and then you go and you scan your item and it'll tell you if it's part of the OTC program. Oh, yes, Sandy, that is true. It's nice when they have that listed. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure like different stores have different prices. Okay. Well, hopefully once that new catalog comes out, that'll be a little more helpful too. And then you can kind of navigate and see what's the best, best route to get the most bang for your buck. Well, if you guys don't have anything else, do, Nancy, do you have anything? Is there anything we missed for a future topic? It looks like nothing right now. So I did send out that eval form. And if you can fill that out, let us know if we did miss anything. Or again, if you want to hear about another product, please let us know. So thank you for attending. Hope you guys enjoy the sunshine out there. All right, we're gonna sign off. You guys take care. Thank you. Thank you.